I feel like I'm doing good, man. You know, just stepping in with that, trying to be a playmaker for him, and I just feel like, you know, we came out strong. How excited are you for the new kickoff rules? Uh, I'm excited because, you know, I feel like it's going to be an exciting play, you know, for us to just field position and scoring more points. I mean, scoring more points. So I just feel like it's going to be a great weapon for us, especially with me back there. So I feel like I have fun back there. Yeah, Bones is always known for being creative. How creative do you think without giving away secrets? How creative do you think he's going to get with this new rule? I um, mean, you know, Bones, he was one of the ones, you know, to get the rule changed. So I feel like, you know, he's going to have some excitement going into the, uh, the season. So I just, I'm just waiting on him to see how he, how he do the blocking technique and what we're going to do. So I just feel excited for him to do what he's going to do. Are things drastically different for you from a return perspective or not really? Uh, not really because, you know, that, that's what I came in the league to do. So I'm really just trying to be a playmaker for this for this team, man, just try to be the dynamic player that i always been. You broke into this league as a returner, like you said, but can you just talk about the landing the third receiver spot and where you feel you are as a receiver in that competition, how you're approaching it? Uh, I feel like, I man, you know, uh, today I'm with, I'm with the Ruins, so, so I feel like um, with Rob Steve 3, you know, it's a competition. You know, everybody got to come out here and compete, and I feel like I'm doing a great job, but at the same time, it's a coaching decision to you know, see who's going to uh, have that uh, Rob Steve 3, and I'm, I'm just getting them a tough look for it. You know, hope, hopefully it'll be one of us, but I'll be happy for whoever get it. Is that what you like want it? people to notice more about you? You're just you're referred to as a receiver and a returner, not a returner and a receiver. Is that kind of? Uh, no, nah, I'm I'm a receiver, man. It's like, end of the day, you know, that's why I went to the USFL as a receiver. So I'm I'm a receiver at the end of the day. Looks like your chemistry with Dak Prescott has grown, and it's the, the best it's been, and just taking steps as each year goes on. Can you talk about just what you guys, the work you guys have put in in the offseason, just year over year since you're coming to the league? Uh, yeah, man, no, Dak, man, you know, the Louisiana boy, we always get along, man. I just feel like uh, during the offseason, though, know, you know, we worked out, especially in Portland, you know, it was great for us to just, you know, have that bond, you know, just continue to get it. And especially in OTAs, it was great, you know, just keep continuing to just grow with them. What was it like at the Nike, at the Nike facility? Uh, it, it was great, man. You know, the Nike, you know, I'm, I'm one of the Nike uh, athletes, so I just feel like, man, it's, it's, it's going to be great, man, just going forward. Obviously, Brandon Cooks was a big part of that. How much of a leader has he been for you guys? Uh, you know, you know, we, you know, we missed a CD. You know, he won the leaders in the league, but uh, at the same time, man, because he stepped into that role, you know, and just kept all the young guys, and especially me and JT and Jay Brooks, I mean, uh, Jalen Brooks, you know, he kept our head up, and at the same time, we just come out here and compete. That was from day one? From day one. Have players in the USFL you know, called you up or talked to you about your experience at this level? Uh, yeah, I mean, you know, I talked to them, you know, the guys that they signed, you know, I told them just, uh, just stay in the playbook, man, you know, just try to learn and just at the same time, you know, you once you learn the plays, the coaches will throw you out there and see where you at. Coach McCarthy said you really clicked with learning the offense last season. How do you feel like that has gone, and, and how do you sense the confidence that Coach McCarthy, the coaching staff, and Dak have in you as a receiver at this point? Uh, at this point, you know, uh, you know, last year it was, uh, you know, it was, it was, it was kind of easy me uh, getting back into it. You know, coming to my second year to this offense, and especially this year, you know, it's it's great, man. Just, just, just to learn from it, and just, just watch the watch the film back on CD, see how he was in the slot, you know, just learning from him on in his things. You're a guy with track speed. Do you pay attention much to the Olympics? Uh, and do you feel like you could, you could have done something in that field if you weren't here? Uh, yeah, man. I, uh, I always wanted to do the four by one in, in the Olympics if I had a chance. But at the same time, you know, I feel like I'm one of the guys that can compete in the, uh, in the Olympics. Would that window still be open for you? Oh, you're... always, always. They give me a chance. I especially go up there. What would you have competed in? Uh, to me, I, I like the four by one. I like the one hundred. And y'all probably be surprised, but I kind of do high jump too. Really? For sure. What are what your numbers? Uh, my numbers in in high school. That my last time I did it, I was over six eight. That's my that's my highest one. <laughs> so I, I I still trying to get over six eight to this day when I go back home. But it's it's hard to get over six eight right now. Short guys need to jump. Oh uh, yeah, for sure, for sure, for sure. <laughs> well, what what do you think of Xavier Worthy's uh, combine? Uh, you know, uh, you know, he's he's one of the guys. You know, Big Twelve man. You know, shout out to him. You no know, one to break break the record man. You know, always happy to see the Big Twelve guys. You know, get that coach man. And just you know, be great. You know, just come in this league and try to be great. How much you like him uh, lining up in the backfield at times? Oh yeah, I love I love I love the backfield. You know, uh, you know, that's what I did all out of high school because I couldn't play receiver because people used to dub me. So I. Got got a chance you know, to learn the running back stuff in high school. So whenever they need me to do it, man, I'm happy, I'm happy to do it. Have you said any numerical goals as a receiver for going into a season? Uh, yeah, man, my, my goal is when, when I do get out there, man, just try to catch every ball, you know, and when I'm is out there, try to, if I get a lot of points, try to try to get over 500 yards this season. So that's one of my goals too, and try to score more touchdowns than I did last year, you know, so that's one of my goals. With the changes to the kickoff return, what changes for you? How do you have to change your evaluation of what 
constitutes a real hole and how do you evaluate all of that? Uh, yeah, uh, with me, uh, I'm just, I just hope they just don't kick the ball in the end zone and just give it to it on the third to five and just hope our defense can, I hope they defense can stop our offense. So that's what I'm wishing for. So I'm wishing they will give me a chance and just see what I can do. But I feel like they give me a chance. With the first three games, I feel like I'm going to have a chance. But if I break one or two, I feel like they're just going to kick in the end zone and just rely on their defense and just stop our offense. Do you think you have a better chance to break one with this? Oh, yeah, for sure. For sure. I feel like it's easier, man. Just, just with the guys, you know, being able to move when I touch the ball. So, so that's give me a chance to just see everything from where, where, where I can go. How hungry are you for that kickoff? Oh, return? I'm very, 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 man. So I feel like I can score my first touchdown with this rule. So that's what I'm looking forward to. Is it hard just because you haven't had a chance to really rep it out yet, uh, you know, in, in terms of, I don't know how much you guys have been able to do, obviously, first day in pads today. Uh, uh, now, it went hard because uh, last uh, training camp, we know we did some things like this to work on. So every time Bones knew the change was going to happen, so we've been working on it since last year. Mm -hmm. Thanks so much, Appreciate, Appreciate it. Appreciate it.